I think we'll start this out with an example of what the hell change is you're going to have a task. Grab by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, right. we might be wrong. Well, in order to understand that, we need to have a nice So which kind of level do you want? So now I can no longer get to my boogers. Welcome everybody, we're uh, here at one of my absolute favorite places, maybe. I, maybe not. Anyway, that's part of the joke. Anyway, maybe it's not a joke, it's a true story. Um, so we're here today to talk a little bit about uh, negative reinforcement. I mean, there's a lot of confusion in the world, um, behavior analysis, about what negative reinforcement really is. Um, so what we've got is a, it's, it's still reinforcement, right? So when you think of reinforcement, don't forget, we're gonna strengthen a behavior, right? But with negative reinforcement, we're gonna strengthen a behavior through the loss of something, all right? So we're going to lose a stimulus, um, and then that is what is going to be the key to actually strengthen, strengthening the response. So that loss of a stimulus, though, can be done in a couple of ways. Number one, you can do, go of a more traditional approach, so you can escape something, um, so, or you can avoid something, right? So let's back up a little bit and get a more proper definition of negative reinforcement. So um, the contingent removal of a stimulus following a behavior, so the behavior is what triggers the removal of a stimulus, so the contingent removal of a stimulus following a response increases the probability of that response occurring in the future. Negative reinforcement, right? So today, again, we're here at the mall, a local mall here, and um, <laughs> um, I have a really odd sort of feeling about this place because um, I'm oldish, right? So, and I have spent nigh on 20 years avoiding uh, this mall. I mean, when I was a kid, yeah, we used to come here and hang out and eat ice cream and do weird stuff and walk around and think we were cool. Um, and now I'm back in the mall. Anyway, there's a certain sort of irony there. Anyway, um, so we've lost, so I avoided the mall, right? For years, the avoidance of this place was actually reinforcing. I didn't find it that enjoyable to be here, right? There was no stimuli here that were exciting for me. Just in general, it was not a nice place to be, so I avoided it, right? So um, today, I'm not avoiding things. Um, I'm here largely because my daughter's in here, and it's a uh, homecoming night. It's hoko night, as they say today. Um, so it's homecoming night. My daughter's in here getting her makeup done. So um, we at Psycho were like, hey, you know what? Let's just make the most of it, and we could do a video on negative reinforcement since we haven't covered one yet. So anyway, uh, not only did I avoid this place for like 20 years, but right now what I'm trying to do is escape the damn place. I want to get out of here. Um, so I've kind of had enough. So negative reinforcement fits both of those things, right? So if you're experiencing a stimulus and um, the, in the loss of that stimulus, right, me escaping, right, um, strengthens the behavior, then you have negative reinforcement. Or through experience, you can end up, um, uh, d through a discriminated scenario, you can end up avoiding stimuli in the future. But that gets a little tricky to think about, right? Because the avoidance of something um, is not inherently reinforcing because there's nothing, no stimulus that you're coming into contact with. So you have to establish that experience in your history. So in your behavioral history, you have to have that sort of whatever, um, that, that, that experience that leads you to want to avoid that in the future. And I say want, um, but it's really what I'm talking about is a motivating operation, not the, not the sort of want that we often think about um, in, the, in the everyday language. So, um, so that's pretty much all we need to think about for negative reinforcement for this particular introduction to it. Um, there is more to the story, so to speak, as one might expect, and we'll get into that in another video. But uh, just um, know that, hey, we're here, we're doing a video, and we, uh, um, I really want to escape this particular environment. I'm done, it's too noisy, and there's way too many teenagers. Ah! Hello. <laughs>